Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good evening everyone. How are you today? I hope you have a great day today. On this occasion, I will tell you a little story that come from Central Java. The underlying Timun Mas. So, let's get started to the story. A long time ago, there was a widow named Moranda. Her husband has passed away a long time ago so that she lived it alone. She had no children, she had no boys or girls. But there is one night that she prayed to God to get a child. My Lord, can I have a child? I'm tired of living alone. If you give me a child, I will be very happy. One night, when Boranda prayed, a giant called Buto Ijo passed her house and heard her pray. Buto Ijo said, <laughs> Do you want a child? I can give you a child, but you must bring back the child to me when she is 17 years old. Oh, really? I can have a child? Oh, of course, I want to have a child. But Randa was so happy and didn't think what the risk of losing child later. She agreed the offer. Then Buto Ijo gave her some cucumber seeds and asked her to plant them around her house. Okay, if you want a child, I will give you these seeds and you must plant these seeds around your house. Okay, I will plant it. Tomorrow, Boranda planted the seeds just like what the Buddha Ijo's asked. Shortly, the seeds grew up after some days, and there were several cucumbers in there. However, the most interesting thing is a huge golden cucumber is inside. Boranda plucked the golden cucumber carefully and carried it home. With care, she sliced it, and she was so surprised. The cute little baby girl was inside. Oh, is this a baby? Oh, thank you, my lord. Finally, I have a baby. I will give a name with Timun Mas. But Randa named her daughter with Timun Mas. She loved the baby really much. Year passed. Timun Mas has grown to be a beautiful and lovely little girl. She was very smart and kind as well. That is why Boranda kept thinking about her promise to the giant. One night, when Boranda slept, she had a dream that she must meet a holy man that lived in a place called Mount Gundul. The holy man could help to save Timon Mas from the giant. The next morning, Boranda went to Mount Gundul and met the holy man. He gave four little packs to her. Randa. <coughs> Uh, these bags are for her. Tell her to open and use it one by one. Okay, I will give it to her. But Randa nodded her head as a sign that she understood the command. Then she came back to home. Each one of the bag was containing cucumber seeds, needles, salt, and shrimp past. But the holy man said, that Timon must could use them to protect her from the giant. At home, Boranda told the daughter about a promise to the giant and about the bags that were given by the holy man. What? Mom? I'm not your real daughter? And I'm a cucumber? What does that mean? Uh, uh, Timon Mas, I can't explain it to you, but it is the truth. Oh, that is unbelievable. A few days later, Buto Ijo came to Boranda house and asked for a promise. <sighs> Randa, where is Timun Mas? Uh, Timun Mas? I think she's inside. But Boranda told the daughter to run from the back door and took the bags they given by the Mahaliman with her. 
Team one must run, run and took this back with you. But, but, but why, mom? Where should I run? Where should I go? But, 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 because the giant wants to eat you. But, Buto Iju saw and heard it. He was very angry and rushed toward Timon Mas. He was getting closer and closer. Then, Timon Mas opened the first bag. Huh. It was the cucumber seeds. She threw the seeds and instantly they grew in the huge golden cucumber fields. Buto Ijo ate them all. <sighs> so she could run further. However, it was giving more strange to chase the girl. He was getting close again. Jimon must open the second bag that contains needles. She threw those needles behind her and they magically turned into a lash bamboo trees which were thorny. Buto Ijo ponies were flat and stretched. But unfortunately, he made it and chased her again. Timun must open the third bag. Huh. It made the soil which the salt touched turn into a very deep sea. Buto Ijo almost drowned there, but he swam to cross it. Timun must! Uh, don't run from me! From a far place, Timun must saw and heard it. She then opened the last bag and threw it. It was the shrimp past. That made the soil became a large swamp of boiling mud. Finally, the giant trapped there and mud shot him. Uh, oh no! Uh, I will not forgive you! Uh. Everything was then. Timurmas came back to her home and lived happily ever after with Bo Randa. The end. So, guys. Don't you know what a moral value that we could gain from this little story? Don't you know? Ah, yes. The first is when we want to get something, try hard to get it. Second, when we are in doubt, when we are in angry, don't make any decision. Don't make. Okay, I think that is all that I want to tell with you. I'm Bintang Putra Faraso from Asalam Islamic Modern Boarding School. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.